Haven't you ever been with the impression that everything today can cause cancer? Why is that? Well, for starters, our life today is not nearly as healthy as it used to be. Our great grandparents and grandparents did not have to deal with so much food tampering, and household products were not nearly as toxic or synthetic as the ones we use today. But what are some of the most common carcinogens we might be using this very minute and we don't know about them? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal six common carcinogens you might be ingesting or using every day at home and why you should be careful before it's too late. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLenDivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of quality, quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLenDivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share some tips and video links related to this topic. You've probably heard the word carcinogen pop up on the news very often, and many people wonder what it really means. A carcinogen is something that can cause us cancer. It may be a substance in the air, a product we're using, or a chemical in the foods we are eating or drinking every single day. Now, just because you had contact with a carcinogen, this doesn't mean that you will actually get cancer. Your chance of getting sick depends on many things, but especially the time you've been exposed to this specific substance can end up giving you cancer. So in today's video, I'll reveal six common carcinogens you might be ingesting or using at home every single day and why you should be careful before it's too late. Number one, your fruits and vegetables. What? Fruits and vegetables can cause cancer? Well. Not exactly. The problem with food today is that most of the times our food contains some type of herbicide that is known, is, is known for causing cancer. Glyphosate, for example, is the most common used type of herbicide which every day we consume in our foods and is used to produce our foods. Fruits and vegetables, for the most part, have it. Just so you know, studies have demonstrated that workers exposed to glyphosate were about twice as likely of getting B cell lymphomas. You are literally taking cancer home every day, and when you're buying food that is not organic, things can get messy. You see, organic means your food doesn't contain pesticides, chemicals, and obviously will not be genetically modified. They are organic organisms. They are truly, truly fruits and vegetables. Now, believe it or not, we have the power to create that pressure on the food industry for them to stop using these chemicals. If we all start to buy organic, then they will literally be obligated to shift the way they produce their food. Now, another thing we can all do is stop buying foods that are processed, packaged, maybe with chemicals or pesticides added to them. If we do this, I guarantee things will have to change. Now, if you need something effective that you can take to improve that antioxidant capacity in your body and prevent cancer from ever appearing, look for multivitamin and metathyroid from finally at drlandivar.com. Number two, burnt or fried meat. Meats are an essential part of our diets. Poultry, fish, red meat, you name it. There's no doubt that they are all very important, but we have to be careful on how we consume them. Now, think about it. This is where we get all our proteins from. We need calcium, we need glutamic acid, etc. All the things we need to ingest and to consume for our body to have. The only problem is that if we overcook our meats, this could be dangerous. Charred meat, for example, can be hazardous because burnt meat contains cancer-causing substances. And not many people know about this. Studies show that being exposed to high levels of HCAs or PAHs, two substances produced by overcooking meats, can help develop cancers of the breast, colon, liver, skin, lungs, prostate, and other organs according to the National Cancer Institute. The only way to prevent this is done by avoiding charred meat and using meat that has not been burnt in the process. Oh, and by the way, the meats with greater amounts of fat that are burnt are and have the greatest amount of dangers to them. Now, if you need something effective that you can use to improve cancer prevention and make sure that oxidation doesn't become an issue with food consumption, 
Look for Ultra C1000 and I'm Defense from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, hot coffee. Oh yes, drinking coffee can be very healthy. There's no doubt about that. But the problem is that people drink it very hot sometimes, and this can end up being dangerous. The truth is that what happens is actually something that happens in your esophagus and your stomach. Drinking hot beverages can actually burn your esophagus and the stomach and cause serious harm over the long run. The worst part is that most people don't know this and they drink coffee every single day. Very hot coffee, also soup, maybe other beverages, it doesn't matter as long as it's hot. Just so you have an idea, a study from Iran found that people who drank 700 milliliters of hot coffee per day or hot tea per day were 90% more likely of suffering from esophageal cancers. Now, obviously, how can this not be true if you're burning your digestive system every time you're having a hot drink? This is obvious. The body can probably handle once or twice, but not if you do it every single day for years. That's going to cause a problem. If you need something natural and effective that you can use to improve your stomach health with gastritis or any other condition that might consume or be able to produce a cancer, look for GI Balance, ProBillion, and D Enzymes from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number four, added sugars. What in the world does added sugar have to do anything with cancer? Well, for starters, it's the fuel that helps cancer grow. Scientists now know that eating too much of a sweet stuff can not only lead to diabetes, but also actively damage your cells and increase your risk of developing cancer. We now know that sugars can fuel tumor growth in the body and simply because cancer loves to eat and fuel on sugar. You see, the hyperactive sugar consumption we have on cancer cells leads to that vicious cycle and the continued stimulation of cancer development and growth. And we crave more sugar and we help cancer grow. And more sugar and help cancer grow. And it never ends. It's just a vicious cycle. Now, this is also why sugar-free diets can actively help treat cancer. Not eating extra sugar starves the tumor to death. So keep in mind that you do not want more sugar in your diets every day. If you need something effective and a good supplement for me that can help you improve sugar metabolism and help you function properly with your thyroid and everything you need to prevent cancer, look for Metaglucose and Appalizer from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number five, tobacco. It doesn't really matter if you're smoking it or you're not smoking it. You will get cancer if your respiratory system is taking in tobacco. You know, most people don't know that there's at least 70 known chemicals in cigarette smoke that can potentially cause you cancer or damage your DNA. I'd probably say that tobacco is one of the few substances that has so many cancerous ingredients that we could be possibly using every single day. And in this case, even light smoking raises your risk for cancer. I've seen people who smoke like a chimney and never get cancer. And I've seen also people who live with someone that smokes and get cancer. So be careful. It's not about your body. It's not about, about how strong you are. It's about how much risk you're having by just smelling or taking in any smoke that has to do with the cigarette smoke. If you need something effective that has the power to improve your respiratory tract and health, look for I'm Defense from Finland at DrLandivar.com. And help out this channel by giving us a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. They'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line in the point, visit Dr.com and check out these other videos for this topic about thyroid information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.